Hey there guys and gals. So this we're looking at right now is Cockatrice. Cockatrice is a free way to play Magic the Gathering online. Now you can build your deck within Cockatrice, but I think it's easier to build it in something else and then import it to Cockatrice. So I personally use Moxfield for this express purpose. Uh, there are other things that you can use, but in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you guys how to move your deck from Moxfield over to Cockatrice and teach you the easiest way to play Commander, because Commander is the only game mode that I play, so I can teach you how to do that. <laughs> Don't write anything in the right side over here where it says deck, because if you write anything there when you import from Moxfield, Cockatrice is going to be like, are you sure you want to make changes to this deck you've built? We don't want to do any of that. We'll just ignore it. So don't write anything here yet. You could even not have Cockatrice started. I just wanted to show you guys what Cockatrice was. So you're going to open up Moxfield. I have some of my decks in here. Some of them I've already imported. Some of them I haven't. So I'm just going to grab Flame Speed After Images. So I've already built my deck for Commander. I have all my things here. One thing you want to understand is that I personally set up everything with exactly the cards that I've got. But when you load your deck into Cockatrice, what's going to happen is it's going to load the latest released version of every card that you've got. So here on Moxfield, this makes sense. I can show you exactly what set each of my cards are from. But once I move my deck over to Moxfield, when I'm actually playing, it's just going to load whatever the latest version of each card is. If you wanted to, you could just load in and say like, oh, I have a whole bunch of islands. You don't have to put in what sets they're from. You don't have to specifically set which art you're using in your physical deck for when you play it on Cockatrice. So what you're going to want to do is come over here to the more when you're done. Hit export. Now, it has all, this is exactly what's in your deck list. It tells you which version of each card you're using, yada, yada, yada. But what we want to do is go to copy for MTGO. So this is copied to the clipboard. Basically, it's just copied a version, a text version of all the cards in our deck. Then you switch back over to Cockatrice. You go to Deck Editor. Load Deck from Clipboard. So once we've loaded the deck from the clipboard, you can see here it's got one of whatever until you get to your islands. Because it's Commander, you can't have duplicates of your cards unless they're basic lands. So you, you don't see any kind of set symbol or anything here to denote anything. And then there's a space in between for your commander or commanders, if you have two, because the way that Cockatrice is going to load up is that it's going to say that your commander is in the sideboard because Cockatrice doesn't actually have a commander zone to put your cards in. So we hit OK. And now our cards come up over here. They're separated by card type. So that's good. You want to make sure at the top that it says 99 or if you have two commanders that it says 98. Because if one of your cards didn't load in properly or the formatting was wrong, you're going to have to go in manually and fix that. And I don't recommend that. The UI for Cockatrice is just, pfft, I don't I don't recommend that at all. <laughs> but you want to make sure that your commander is stuck in the sideboard. Because that's where you want them if you're playing commander here on Cockatrice. So once that's there, I'm going to put in flame speed after images. So now you want to write in the corner here. Your comments, you don't necessarily have to put anything in here, but I like to put in the comments what colors my deck is, just in case somebody was here and they wanted to see like a deck that's been uploaded. Uh, so once you've put in your comments and your name, you're going to come back up to Deck Editor. You're going to hit Save Deck As. And then you can put in whatever you want for it. I'm going to put in Flame Speed After Images because... That's what my deck is. Now, when you actually play a game on Cockatrice, so I'm not going to log into anything. I'm just going to start a local game. Uh, you can log in. Usually you log into a hub world. I'm going to show you that you can load a deck from your computer. So we're going to load up Flame Speed After Images. Once we've loaded up our deck, you can now see all the cards. And they've got the latest version of each card art here. Um, periodically, and the first time you load up Cockatrice, it's going to search the Oracle database for cards. And if any of your cards appear blank, you're going to have to do some things to fix. You can, if you want to, go to card database and try to fix things that way. Uh, I think there's another way to make it look for... You can check for card updates through help. Um, so if any of these appear blank, but they have the correct name, that means it didn't 
ping them in the Oracle database, and you may need to work on that a bit. A bit. Now that this is here, we see our commanders in the sideboard. So we're going to hit ready to start, and this puts us in the game. Now you'll see that I started with 20 life, but commander, obviously you start with 40. So you can left click to go up or right click to go down, or you can hit control L and set your life to 40. I just think that's, that's quicker. That's the easy way to go. Um, for your first hand, you can double click this. Just put it back. You, you can totally double click the deck to draw a card, but since it's your first hand, you can also hit control M and this will draw seven cards. And the way that me and my friends play Commander, we won't start a game unless we have at least three lands in our first hand. Technically, we did draw three lands in our first hand, but the cool thing about Control M is that you can choose the number of cards. So if you had to do this for some other reason, you could choose a different number than seven, but seven is the default. Once I hit this, it'll draw another seven cards and shuffle the previous seven back into the deck. So it's easier than pushing all the cards back into the deck every time. You can just control M to start. The next thing you should know is if you want to decide who goes first, you can hit control I, and this lets you just roll a die. Uh, so generally speaking, everyone rolls a 20 sided die. The cool thing about this is you select the number of sides when you roll a die in Cockatrice. You don't decide the amount of dice. So 20 sided die, that's pretty standard. Uh, roll your 20-sided die. Whoever gets the highest goes first. That makes that makes perfect sense. So we're just going to put it in there. A nat 20? Let's go! The other thing that's very important is you can see here, I've got my phases. I've got counters I can put in here. This is your graveyard. This is your exile. This is your hand. This is your deck. Uh, you might be wondering, where the heck is my commander? So your commander is actually in your sideboard right now. Since you haven't played your commander yet, I think it's totally fine to leave them in the sideboard at the beginning. But sideboard is like the only thing that doesn't have a button on the screen that you can just pop open. So what you're going to do is hit Control and F3 to open your sideboard. Now that your sideboard's open, you can pull your commander out. What a lot of people do in the essence of sportsmanship is they take their commander out and they put them over here. So this is supposed to be the stack, but if you leave your commander here, everyone can see it. When you're casting spells and stuff, you can lay them out in the stack to see like what order things are actually occurring in. When you've got your commander here, you can, generally speaking, just close your sideboard. Remember that Control and F3 opens the sideboard, so you can just keep opening it up whenever. But what a lot of people do is leave it here in the essence of sportsmanship, and then you can fill one of these counters up and be like, oh, my commander... I have to pay one commander tax. I have to pay two commander tax. Or what some people do is they just leave it the exact number of extra mana they have to pay because your commander, you know, commander tax is two mana, colorless. A lot of people do their commander tax up here and then the other counters are for whatever else they might need to use. But that being said, that's like the basis of how to play commander here on Cockatrice. And I figured I should make this video just so that there's a short one. There are tutorials, but they're like 40 minutes, an hour and a half long. And I'm like, mm, I mean, you could just make this super quick. Like, you don't need all that extra stuff. In the Okami Kukuri Discord, there is an MTG channel that I've posted this handy dandy diagram in. Uh, but I think I will also make a post on Patreon and share that handy dandy diagram as well to coincide with this video just to make it easier because even though I've taught you how to bring up your life, how to mulligan, how to roll a die, and how to open your sideboard, there's tons more commands for Cockatrice that, are, that will be super helpful. But yeah, uh, that is the gist of how to play Commander over here in Cockatrice. I'm hoping this helps. I know that I didn't play on Cockatrice for like a whole year. And when I came back, I was like, what the hell am I doing? And it took a while to get back up to speed. So I wanted to make sure other people could get up to speed pretty quick. If you like what you saw, leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, sub. And I will see you guys and gals later in the next one. And if you're feeling super generous, you can become a channel member. You can become a patron on Patreon if you'd like. Those links are always in the description below. So good luck. Have fun playing Commander out there, y'all.